Hello friends. So far, we have learned a lot many things which will help us in building career as a GIS developer. But today's topic is a bit different. Today, we will learn about pros and cons of career in GIS. First of all, GIS is a blooming industry. GIS can be applied to anything which has geographic context like gas power and telecom utilities or agriculture or even urban planning forestry disaster management etc gis is almost everywhere and so it provides plethora of opportunities but there is a problem you should understand that the business of the business is to do the business what i mean is if you are working in a power utility then their business is to generate, transmit and distribute power to the end user and ultimately make profit out of it. They may use GIS only if GIS is contributing in improving their business efficiency and helping in achieving their goals. In order to serve as a GIS professional in any industry, you must know the regular business operation of that industry and then with your spatial thinking abilities, you may be able to apply GIS to the organization and help achieve their goal. In other words, knowledge of just GIS is not sufficient. You must know the business operations. Secondly, GIS is a tool which almost anybody can learn. An enthusiast with an interest in GIS technology can go through some YouTube videos and start working as a GIS professional. Many open source free softwares are available in the internet which one can install on the computer and start practicing. So it is easy to learn and develop the expertise. But this is what creates a problem. Since anybody can enter into the GIS profession, today GIS industry is full of mess. GIS professional includes a person who is pressing couple of buttons on GIS software without knowledge of what he is doing. They are nothing more than a software jockey. A person attending a seminar or GIS workshop for a couple of days becomes a GIS professional. There are certificate, diploma, degree and even PhD level courses in the market. So you need to learn GIS and create your identity and prove your worth among the many other people. Third and most important point is related to opportunities and career growth. GIS has got opportunities in various areas including data preparation, field survey, software development, integrations and project management. As a GIS professional, you may be working in an organization which is either a GIS service provider or GIS service consumer. Now let us understand what is GIS service provider and service consumer. GIS service consumer is an organization like Tata Power, Reliance Geo, Adani Gas, Disaster Management Authority, etc. These are the organization who wants to use GIS into their business operations. And GIS service provider are the organizations, those who know the GIS technology in detail and they provide professional services to the GIS consumer organization. GIS service provider organization includes TCS, Wipro, Infosys, IBM, Accenture, etc. So generally, GIS service consumer organization have a small team of GIS and IT professionals who play an active role in applying geospatial tools while improving efficiency of the business operation. You are a go-to person for all the GIS needs of an organization. Usually you feel more valued in such organization. Most of the time, consumer organization offer a stable job with reasonable responsibility. But there is an issue here also. There are very limited people who know GIS in consumer organization. So knowledge sharing and knowledge learning opportunities are very limited. Many times you feel cut off from the industry and latest technological trends into the GIS. You may require attending various seminars, workshops, lectures to keep yourself updated. And many times in consumer organization, GIS become a part of support services. 
so people usually climb to the middle management level but they hardly reach to the top management in case you want to reach to the top management you have to diversify your expertise apart from gis this leads to the ceiling for professional and function financial growth on the other side when you are working in a service provider organization you are a member of a large team you get to share knowledge with many experts you also get to learn latest technological trends in the industry service providers who are solely into gis services also provide an opportunity to reach up to the top management based on the candidate's caliber many service provider organization also offers on site opportunities to the candidate here still there are some limitations if service provider organization has offering into large variety of verticals like health sector banking defense administration erp then gis may be a small component for the organization in this case we become a small fish into an ocean and we feel like less valued since service provider organization works purely on the projects many times they do not have projects in hand in such cases gis candidate may have to remain on bench or may require doing something non gis related activities this creates frustration if the situation prolongs for a longer period friends ultimately pros and cons are almost everywhere all jobs may offer some challenges and opportunities a person with positive attitude and ready to change and adapt in any situation is surely going to excel in his career i started my career as a gis developer and then entered into the project management field i started working as a gis service provider organization and then went to a large utility which was a gis consumer organization after completing couple of projects there i moved back to the gs service provider organization so far things are going well for me hope you are also able to find out the best suitable career path for you i have prepared this video to help you in shaping out your career please share this views and queries and comments also share this video with your friends and colleagues I hope you are finding this video helpful. Thank you.